Hi Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your June 2023 Angel Day reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps this channel be seen by the YouTube algorithm, and it helps it grow tremendously. So thank you so very much. I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy that Spirit wants us to be mindful of during this time, Aquarius. Angels and Spirit guides show clearly. Guide this reading and show clearly. This is the Three of Swords. It's a good card to be mindful of. The Three of Swords is heartbreak and pain and disappointment. It doesn't mean that we have to be going through heartbreak and pain and disappointment now, but it does mean that it's coming up. And 6-6 six, six is a nurturing, healing angel day. And it is a time where any hardships, you know, our angels are taking care of them. They're, they're healing us. You know, they're connecting with us. And this can be a time where... We thought like everything was going along really well or we felt like, okay, you know, I've made it through a hurdle and we feel like we take a few steps backwards. It's not that we're actually taking a few steps backwards. It's we're releasing a lot of negativity that has been holding us back for quite some time. And that can be intense. Let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides show clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. This is magical. We're magical and we need to embrace our own magical spirit, letting us be happy, letting us be, you know, spirit keeps on saying, letting us be different. Okay. Our magic shining forward. However, that's interpreted in our lives, whether it be in cooking or in gardening or in even cleaning, you know, letting the magic shine forward. And however, the magic shines forward in our lives. Letting our lives be magical is how we need to embrace it, be entranced by it, you know, move forward in that energy. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Oh, Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, angels. So it's really interesting here, Aquarius, is that if you have like a yes or no answer that you are here for, the answer is no. Just know that. Okay. There's something here where I do see like a no, but there's actually this really lovely beauty coming into our lives and moving us forward. So it's a no and then it's a yes. So just be aware of that. We come through as a king. We're represented by the swords in the minor arcana. And we come through as a knight. And remember, knights protect kings. We have the five of cups. Spirit is saying here, change your mind and change your life. Oh, oh my gosh. I forget his name, but it is this doctor that studied water, right? He studied, you know, what you speak over water. And he found that if you speak hatefulness over water, it turns like the crystals of the water become ugly and all disjointed and, and jaggedy. And if you speak love 
over the crystal, over the water. The crystals of the water become beautiful. They, they look just absolutely enchanting. Change your mind and change your life. We need to change the story that we're telling ourselves in our heads. We're focusing a lot on hurt, pain, negativity, doubt, and despair. And we're not moving towards what we love and what we want. So saying that to ourselves, saying I changed my mind and I'm changing my whole entire life. I'm taking back my life. That's going to be a huge thing. I love the 10 of cups. I love this card. I'm always thinking, you know, I should get a poster of this card, you know, print it out and put it in a nice frame. The 10 of cups here, it always makes me think of the Nordic saying, and I know if you guys have been here for a while or even just a little bit, you might roll your eyes and say, Dane, I know it. But for those of you who are new, new, first of all, welcome. And secondly, the saying is, it is better to be king of a cottage than servant in a castle. And since most of us in our modern world aren't servants in a castle, I really see this as better be king of your cottage than servant to your castle. Meaning it's not always bigger and better, bigger and better. It's being contented with what we have. And in a world of consumerism, but also in a world that's human, you know, we want to one upsmanship, right? Show off. That's important. But here it's like, I don't have anything to show off to. I don't mean that. Like, I don't have anything to show off about. And it's not in a way that's like, oh, woe is me. It's like, I don't need to show off. I don't want to show off. Leave me alone. I'd rather be king of my cottage and king of my world or queen than anything else than chasing and chasing and chasing. The Ten of Cups is, and they all live happily ever after. However, that happily ever after equates into your life. My joy might not be your joy. You might think, oh my gosh, you know, her life is so terribly boring. And you might love, you know, something so much more. But being contented with what brings you bliss, that's a powerful thing. It moves us to our subconscious, not our subconscious. It moves us to the Two of Wands. But I guess it's part of our subconscious here. Doors are opening. And we're feeling that and we're knowing that and we're looking out at a horizon. We're looking a bit at the future, though the future isn't our only focus. There's something here where it's like, it didn't work. No, it didn't work. And it was something that we thought we didn't have to pay attention to, like it took care of itself type of thing. And now we're having a hiccup around it. Being aware of that. <coughs> Excuse me. The King of Swords. Cutting through doubts and fears and negativities, hurts and pains. This is also the highest court card of the swords. And the swords are the only weapon in the tarot. That's important. We're ruled by the swords in the minor arcana. And that's a big deal because it's the only weapon. So we can be a bit cutting, a bit biting, a bit intense. But also you can find that air sign energies bloom later because they have to learn how to wield their talents, how to handle their gifts. There's also something very noble about air sign energies, like classy, okay? Not all of them, it doesn't mean everybody, but remember, swords were only held by nobility. And so to be able to wield this, to be able to wield our minds properly, which is what the swords, you know, show us is our minds. There is a sense of, of power, but also distinction to us. So embrace that. We have the raven on top of our head, and we see that as the Morgan, a symbol of death, of rebirth, of creativity, of, of passion coming forward to us. With the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords in the upright position is the hero of the story, the knight that cuts through doubts and fears and negativities you know, slays the dragon, cuts through the poisons of the world and, you know, ascends to wake up the princess, to wake up the sleeping part of ourselves and bring both of us into the waking world. There is power in your voice, whether it be through the written world, world, word, there we go, written word, or through the spoken word. Pay attention to your lungs, okay, during this time our subconscious energy to be mindful of, the Empress reverse. We might feel like things aren't creating the way that we want them to. 
somebody here might also be having trouble conceiving, you know, having the family that we had envisioned stepping back and looking at things in a different way, because this time is again, all about family, all about healing can be very liberating, very powerful for us. But there is also not just physical birth, but we're having difficulty creating, cultivating, understanding what we want and birthing it forward into our world. We can feel stagnant. We can feel overwhelmed. Acknowledging that is going to be important. It doesn't mean that we can do anything. We can just acknowledge it and say, you know what? I feel really frustrated. I don't know why, but I'm going to let myself feel frustrated, but I'm going to keep on moving forward for me. It moves us to our subconscious spirit message, which is earth grounding. Get in the garden, you know, walk outside, connect with the earth, grounding yourself, either wearing barefoot shoes or, you know, going barefooted. Grounding you will be so important. And our subconscious tarot message is the queen of cups. This is water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. This is healing, beautiful love. This is embracing the, the heart chakra. This is moving forward. This is understanding that a lot of people's emotions kind of come at your doorstep. And a lot of people might come to you with their problems and be like, oh my gosh, you know, I don't understand why I'm so upset or this is so hard or that or this. And we can find it overwhelming because we can really find that people come to us with their problems, but they don't really care about our problems. So just being aware of that and subconsciously, you know, make sure that you're taking care of yourself. I love that saying, you need a gallon to fill a cup. Fill your cup. Fill a gallon, not just your cup. Fill a whole entire plate, not plate, but table full of cups just for you before you can start helping everybody else. All right, Aquarius, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony. Aquarius, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless and have a blessed angel day. Bye.